Hello guys, KP Shamino here with another guide uh, and this time it's about North Carolina. I'm going to show you guys in this guide three fishes. It's the red fin pickerel, the trophy one, the small mount bass and his evil brother, the large mount bass. Because you don't need to do a lot with your line, you just need to switch the lure and you're perfectly okay. So I'm going to show you guys in this guide uh, where you need to throw, what you need to use as lure and what my setup is. Okay, so first of all you need to go to the great parking shop area. It's funny because I was thinking what the fuck great parking shop, what is that all about? Until I enter and you look at the water and you see a car into the water. So it's a little joke but uh, it's going to be part of a, a plan how you need to catch uh, a kind of fish here. I will show you guys later because I'm starting first with the red trophy pickerel. So like always I did some good testing. It was not a lot of time I needed to invest because I did a lot of time in New York and there isn't a lot of difference. They only got the bass going uh, here and uh, yeah I already fished the bass so it was not hard. So first of all you need to come if you enter. You just saw that I need to go to here. That's the sweet spot for the trophy red pickerel. I will show you guys first my testing, my gear. You can use this gear uh, I think on all the fishes. I'm not sure maybe the last one we need to switch to the spinning rod but I'm, I will see on that moment. So let's do the setup. So it's the Jester 2010, the low dex 1500 rail. I got 0 0.25 mono uh, line and I'm using, like in New York, the casting spoon 14 for the pickerel. It's over and over again the casting spoon 14. So it's not complicated. You can go with what you want because you don't need to make a lot of meters. So that's good. So this is the graphic of the testing. So you can see trophy red fin pickerel. I catch one with the red and the white casting spoon 14, with the yellow and the red dot 14, and with the golden 14. So you can catch them with those spoons easy. Uh, I went for a moment to the casting spoon 7 gram and it went right away to red fin pickerel. So it's just the same like New York. Get yourself a casting spoon 14. And you're okay. I'm just going to show you guys how you need to throw. So here you see the lilies. And like every time pickerels like lilies. So just throw over here. Uh, you can go a little bit aggressive on them. It's not a problem. So go to speed 2. Put your drag on 2. And let's get going. So just like reel in like this. Near the lilies. And you will be okay. It's a lot harder now to get the trophies because uh, yesterday they nerfed it. So it's a lot harder. But you need to do it like I just did. So and with the casting spoon 14 you're only going to catch uh, like trophies. Red fin pickerel trophies. Okay, that was a position, that was the lure. Now we, I'm going to the next position, it's not complicated because uh, it's, yeah, it's over here. So, like I already said, the truck in the water uh, is a crucial plan uh, to catch the large mouth bass. The only thing that we need to change is we are going to ch change the lure. So I can just use the same uh, line setup equipment setup the only thing i need to change is the lure so i'm going for the best jig 9 gram like you can see i got two of them i like this one more just uh, for the color but it works really well and i did some testing here too and like you can see uh, i got a large mount bass with 5 gram i got a large mount bass with 9 gram so, but I think use the 9 gram if you want to catch a trophy. I didn't catch a trophy, but I think that the trophies are at the same position. But you just need a little bit more of luck. Simple like that. So, 
I'm now using the best jig 9 gram and how you need to draw is like this so the sweet spot is here in front of the truck that's the spot that the uh, large mouth bass is sitting so there is a hole or something I think and they are waiting so uh, put your speed of your reel on 2 drag 2 and let's throw in like this and uh, yeah you can go aggressive on the best too it's not a problem you will see you don't need to wait like you're fishing on a trout you can just uh, yeah reel it in strike a little bit like you can see I, I yeah that was uh, I think it was a snack but, but the game is so laggy at the moment, it's unbelievable. So when it goes really fast, so uh, you don't need to make a lot of distance, so you can just, like this, throw again in. And I'm going to try the tree, the speed tree, because uh, I'm not very happy. Uh, Bass doesn't live really on the ground, so I want to have my... Yeah, this works a little bit better. I want to have my, uh, my lure a little bit higher. So that it, it it goes a little bit more action on it. Yeah, we got already one. Here it is. Like you guys can see. Let's get him in. And it's always good to catch the fish that you are making a movie of. So largemouth bass in front of the truck. Not complicated. Let's keep this fish because it's good food. And now we are going to move to the next location. To the to the small mouth bass and that's a new fish because I didn't fish him but uh, you need to catch him here at into the rocky blue and uh, it was not really that uh, difficult to find it I was I was trying to throw at the, the other side on the the wood on the lilies but then I thought let's throw between those rocks there that looks like a good spot for a bass. And uh, the strange thing was, I started here because I, I wanted to get the pickerel first. So I started here uh, with... Uh, ah, no, no. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I started here with the casting spoon, the red, the white. Like you can see. And uh, I was surprised. I was... Yeah, the f I throw in. And the first try that I did it, I had the fish. And I was thinking, yeah, there is the pickerel. But it was a small mount bass, so it seems that a casting spoon 14 works here too. But I think uh, I'm going with with the jig. Uh, it's it's a bass, so the best jig you use for a bass. But just for information, the casting spoon 14 works only too, and it's sometimes a little bit easier because it's more weight. So you need to throw really far, and I'm not sure that I can do it. Yeah, I can just do it with uh, with this. Uh, rod so what I do is I just throw between the two rocks you can throw here too I think I'm going to do that now for the video here so it doesn't matter Whoa! look where it's going yeah he throw so throw in between it and yeah let's get the uh, let's get the lure in so the same like on the large mount yeah I already got one yeah <laughs> do you see therefore it's it, it's not complicated. Best fishing, right lure. They are so aggressive from nature, uh, those fishes, that you can catch them really easy. Therefore, I don't like to fish bass a lot. Because it, it's not that complicated to, to get them in. And like you can see, it's a small mouth bass. And you get... Uh, like I said, it's not a lot of experience you get here in North Carolina. But uh, that was it. Uh, for the, the trophy pickerel, the red fin, I'm going to add a movie behind this one. Uh, it was a movie with the three fish in it that I like the most here. Maybe I make a movie of the other fishes too, but I'm at the moment focusing on the predators because it's more fun to fish with a spoon. Uh, but that was it, guys. Thanks for watching, happy fishing and have fun, bye bye.